Now let's face the hard reality. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be sharing two things. First of all, my interview experience at Nokia and my journey through Nokia internship. The second thing is, uh, let's face the hard reality of job market. So I'll share my experience of the job market when I was applying for internship positions in April 2022 versus when I was applying for full-time job opportunities starting November 2022. Okay, so firstly starting off with my uh, Nokia interview experience. In terms of Nokia, I would say the interview process uh, depends on the kind of uh, team and the kind of uh, role you are applying to. So for me, it was a technical role related to software developer uh, where the core programming language was Java and I had experience of Java. Uh, the team uh, in which my uh, resume got shortlisted was uh, Cloud and Network Services team um, which was working more towards R&D which is research and development. And since I had experience in research and development, so I think that helped me in getting shortlisted for this particular uh, interview. So in terms of having face-to-face uh, -face interviews, I had like two online face-to-face -face interviews. Uh, the first, like both of them were technical. The first one was technical and behavior as well. So in the first interview, I was asked questions related to Java, core concepts, uh, oops, uh, like core concepts around Java, like oops, inheritance and stuff around uh, more towards uh, so, uh, understanding the fundamentals of Java and testing the knowledge of uh, how much a person knows about uh, Java. The second interview was uh, where the things get a bit tricky. So in second interview, the team, uh, there were two members from the team and uh, they gave me a question that I had to solve uh, live in front of them. Uh, so it was a kind of live coding. It was a bit stressful because uh, it was like a question and six, seven constraints and I have to and I had to code it in Java so it was more towards the system design kind of question and uh, what I have been practicing on Decode is related to data systems and algorithms so it's like I feel comfortable in solving data systems and algorithm questions in comparison to uh, system design so it was a bit new but it was fun and one strange thing that happened during this live coding interview uh, was when I was coding that problem my uh, Wi-Fi restarted so you know like interviews are stressful and you are already nervous so if this kind of thing happens your nervousness increases exponentially so that what happened to me i immediately uh, turned on the uh, hotspot of my mobile and i was like i can't trust this wi-fi anymore so i was using my mobile hotspot and i continued the interview i obviously told the interviewers that i'm really sorry there is some uh, issue with my wi-fi uh, so yeah after all this I uh, got the uh, offer in the following week. This was actually the time when I was applying for the uh, co-op positions and I had an uh, interview of RBC as well uh, within within that duration. So it's like I got the offer letters from Nokia and RBC within two days of gap. So yeah, that's the thing. And I went with Nokia. So in fact, I'm wearing the Nokia hoodie right now. So my internship uh, just ended. And it was quite fun. Like I actually felt like I'm working in a startup kind of environment where we push gears, we switch to a lot of things quickly and we are like uh, testing, developing and working on some research stuff. So it was really exciting. Like every sprint had something new and exciting that you can't predict like on. So that was kind of uh, a fun experience, I would say. It was uh, about the Tokyo uh, interview, I would say. Uh, definitely I can't share the exact questions which were asked but I do remember those questions by heart like what was uh, there in my interview uh, uh, process because uh, some companies do not allow you to share the exact questions so I won't do it I'm just sharing the process but I'm not sharing the exact questions which were asked to me so yeah that's it regarding the Nokia interview now I'll, I'm shifting towards the job market now let's face the hard reality when I was applying for the internships during April 2022, I applied to hundreds of positions. I got interview calls from, I think, more than 15 companies. And my interviews were just lined up. Like, in fact, I had few days where I had like three to four interviews scheduled in a single day from different companies. And uh, I had to stop in the middle. Like, I can't interview further once I accept the job offer. So once I accepted the job offer from, from Nokia, all the other companies, I told them that I have already uh, accepted a job offer. So that was during the uh, internship, really awesome experience, uh, very good 
I would say a job market experience I had. Now let's come to the situation right now. So there are two things. Firstly, this time is not really good to graduate. So in December, uh, it's like companies are more towards moving towards a holiday season. So if you apply in December from for positions starting from January, they're not actively uh, interviewing or opening positions because it's the end of the year and they're shifting towards holiday season where they will have break. So uh, not a lot of interviews are happening. The second major thing is regarding job market. Needless to say, just Google search about what is happening with the product based companies and software engineers and developers. So a lot of companies uh, laid off. So that was uh, kind of really stressful for the people who uh, who have recently graduated. So the thing is, like when you hear in the news that twelve thousand people are uh, are laid off, or ten thousand people are laid off, five thousand, one thousand, it's like really stressful. Like and and it's like they are the major bank companies. Like you know, the major product based companies are laying off. So you know the kind of market situation that is going on. At least I can talk about the situation in North America, which includes Canada and United States. I did had uh, conversations with few of my friends who are in United States, who are in Canada, and, and on the basis of my own experience as well. So to talk about the job market, it's not good. It's actually uh, pretty bad too. Uh, like I, I don't want to sugarcoat anything. So it's pretty bad. So I started applying in, uh, I think, October mid. I took LinkedIn Premium as well. I kind of applied to more than 200 positions. I was just uh, shooting up emails and uh, um, applying to the job markets. I even applied through referrals in more than, I think, nine or 10 companies. And still, I got just two interview calls. So that was like, uh, I mean, really stressful uh, situation. So through this video, I'm just saying that we all are in the same boat. Give time to yourself and be patient with yourself like it's 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 definitely a stressful uh, uh job market right now and from from my experience giving a month to it like i was not expecting uh, this kind of thing like where you're not getting interviews like i was like what's happening this is exactly opposite to what happened during uh, when i was applying for the internships so i was not i mean it, it was not a very positive experience so I think getting a job right now, it's not uh, that easy. So I would say just try hard to just keep applying, try hard to get referrals and just try to get one interview. So you just need interviews, right? So just try to get more and more interviews. It's, it's not good. Definitely. I have to agree with that and give yourself time. Be patient to yourself like one month, two months. It can take time. Okay. So be patient with yourself and, uh, yeah, I think uh, that's all I wanted to say. If you want to ask any questions or queries to me, uh, feel free to uh, text me or email me. You must have my contact information. Uh, I'll be happy to help in any terms if I can in, in your job search or any other suggestions you want. I wish you all best of luck for your uh, job search and job promotions and uh, happy holidays and happy new year. Thank you.